A secret mission, the removal of highly enriched uranium, the key ingredient of a nuclear bomb. It's stored at a shutdown research reactor in Latvia. Inspectors from the United Nations IAEA monitor the operation as the weapons grade material is removed. They verify the quantity, then seal it in barrels to be airlifted to Russia where it will be processed so it cannot be used in an atomic weapon. The mission is part of a joint program between the United States, Russia and the IAEA to clean up stocks of enriched uranium left at old Soviet research reactors. And it's a race against time. The risk is possible that some material can get in the hands of terrorists and they can make a bomb. Dr. Bolshinsky calculates there's enough of this material to make 50 to 60 nuclear weapons. This Latvian reactor was shut down 10 years ago. There are dozens others like it. There are nights that I don't sleep <laughs> out of concern for this material. Uh, there certainly is quite a bit out there. At the IAEA's Vienna headquarters, arrangements are made to secure this material. Well, currently we are working on some 20 countries or so, but overall there are some 80 countries with research reactors and a lot of them have a still highly enriched uranium. The research reactors are a legacy of the 1950s Atoms for Peace program, where the US supplied the reactors and fuel to friendly countries, while the Russians did the same. Well, this, you know, these research reactors are, have many medical, agricultural and industrial applications, especially in the medical area. Many cancer patients benefit from products of research reactors. The deadline to secure some 1.5 tonnes of this uranium is 2010. The Latvian removal brings it one step closer. With IAEA and UN Television, this is Kirsty Hansen reporting for CNN World Report.